What is actually better, Samsung Notes or Google Keep? Well, this will, of course, depend on which devices you have. If you have a Samsung device, it's a very quick answer. Samsung Notes will be a lot better for you. But do note that Google Keep does provide some more comfort compared to Samsung Notes. Let me explain. So let me compare app availability. On which devices can we actually all use them? For example, on my Samsung phone, I can easily install Keep Notes in the Play Store and also Samsung Notes, which means I can use both of them and they both have syncing options, which is quite useful. Well, they might be cloud-based, but can I even access them on my computer? Because what if I don't want to use my phone and I just want to type with my keyboard? Right here, I have my desktop and let's go and make a search. Keep notes on Windows. Well, if you first search it, you can't really find it. But where you can find it is inside of your Google Calendar. If you open Google Calendar or any other uh, Google app, for example, Google Drive, Gmail, you can actually open it on the right, right here. And you can actually view it right here and it can be quite annoying. So let's open a new tab and you can actually find it with this domain, keep.google.com. With this, we can actually already access everything we can in Google Keep itself. So that's great. Samsung Notes on the web is not possible. So that's already a downside. But if you have Windows and not macOS, because that's quite important, you can open the Microsoft Store. Google Keep doesn't really have one for Windows, not an official at least. GKeep 8 is not officially made by Google themselves. So it looks quite bad. But on the other hand, Samsung Note finally, thank you so much, finally came to Windows itself without any problems and it can run on not Galaxy Book devices. So right here, I just have my MSI Cyborg laptop. It only prompts you with this and I can sign in. I'm just gonna skip it for now to show you that the app works. Right here, I can also click on settings and I can sign in with my Samsung account. Right here, we have all notes and that pretty much works. But this is not possible for macOS. So if you have a macOS, then I'm very sorry, you can't really access Samsung Notes there. But Google Keep does have a web page, so you can go to keep.google.com and you can find it on your Mac device. On iPhone, on the other hand, only Google Keep is available and no Samsung Notes because they compete with each other. So this is a very important key point for you to know which to switch to. Then we're not even talking about features and functionality. In my opinion, Samsung Notes is a league in this and Google Keep can't really keep up. You get it? They just do not. I mean, Samsung Notes is so great. Making notes, not only that, drawing and everything on every single Samsung device. And yes, you can do this inside of Google Keep. But what if I want to combine text and im and drawing? So let's click on drawing. It's blank. Because if you see right here, I can only draw on this page, which I quite find annoying. I have a very bad handwriting, but sometimes I do want to draw some examples. So the only things you can really pick are image, drawing, list, and text. But Samsung Notes has this built in, in every single note, which is already a big win. Right here, I actually have this list. If I click on it, these are all images. And that's quite nice, I guess. I mean, it can make lists, but Samsung Notes can also make lists. Right here below, you can actually press on this button and you can actually already make some lists. For example, if you have to do some groceries, but that's not even everything. If you go to this button for settings and everything, we can create a label, uh, reminders, I guess, settings, which is quite blank. It doesn't really have a much, but if I go to the Samsung Notes itself, you can actually see a lot of options like my folders, like I can lock my notes. I can share my notes with people. I mean, how cool is that? And this is a S10 Plus. On the newer devices, you can even use AI, which is really cool. And um, I can just change to feel like, hey, I want this grid to be large. Or for example, with this, I think it's ugly. So, I mean, you can just create a copper. Like right here, I can edit it. 
I can give it a different color. I can even remove it if I want, which is already so much better. When I go to Google Keep and I have my notes, I guess you can label them. You can give it a color, so that's quite nice. We have green, which isn't bad, of course, but I do wish there was some more functionality. So if you really had to pick, you have to know which devices you have right now. I recommend Samsung Notes and that ain't gonna change ever because Google Keep is just not comparable to Samsung Notes, including other apps, uh, for example, OneNote. I mean, OneNote is for making pages. It's like if you have to write a book and I guess Notes, Samsung Notes can also do that, but OneNote is better at it. But for the rest, it's so bad. If I want to make a note inside of another app, I'm just going to get annoyed. So the winner is really Samsung Notes. Make sure you subscribe if you agree with that too. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.